Hello friends, welcome to my channel Code Complete the Spirit of Coding. Today in this video, I will show you step by step guide about how to create a custom watercolor illustrator art brush from an image. The image can be a watercolor texture or paint. After that, we will try out or use the brush with different stroke colors. So let's get started. First we need to search and select the image, which we will convert into vectorize art brush. I'm starting it with Google search, open a browser, and search for watercolor strokes or texture. Click on Google image. Scroll down and look for image of your interest. This image looks good, let's check this image. Click on the link. Scroll down for more images. Let's select this image. Here you can see the image related information or metadata like image resolution. Image is in PNG format, and, its size is in KB. Here comes very important point, if the size is big, means, if the image is an MB, it may slow down your computer, so we need to compress the image before vectorizing it. Download this image. And, save it on desktop. Here is my watercolor image, let's open this image in Illustrator. We need to import that image on the workspace, to import image file. Go to the menu bar, and, select file option. Click on place. In place dialog box navigate to the folder and highlight the image you want to import. Now click on the place button. V can see a loaded cursor with the preview of the image on the end of it. To place the image, just click once inside the artboard, and the image is placed in at its full size. Here you see a cross sign on the image. To remove it, go to property bar and click on embed button. Resize the image with respect to the artboard. Next step is to vectorize this rasterize image, select the image with the help of the selection tool, then in the menu bar, go to object. Select rasterize. A window will pop up, with the rasterize options. Select the color mode to grayscale. Next is resolution. Keep the resolution to 300 pixels per inch, which is best for printing purposes. Next comes the background, choose whether you want a wide background or a transparent one, this will not affect your image's final quality. I'm going to keep it, as it is, white by default, leave the other settings as default and click OK, your object is now rasterized. Turn off the background by pressing Shift plus Ctrl plus D on keyboard, or, Go to menu bar, select view option, and, click on show transparency grid so that you can see an image with a white background. Next is to trace image, select the image, and click on window, in menu bar as the drop down opens, search for image trace and click on it. Image trace panel pop up with tracing options. In Image Trace Panel, click on Mode drop down menu and choose the mode to grayscale. Adjust the grays to 60. Next, if advanced options are not showing, toggle the advanced menu down to bring up more options. Adjust the paths slider to 75%. 
adjust the corner slider to 75%. Adjust the noise slider to 10px. Check, ignore Y checkbox. Click on Preview, and, the image tracing starts. It may take a while. Image tracing is done, here you can see the white background is also gets removed. Close image trace panel. To hide this transparency grid, press shift plus ctrl plus d on keyboard, or click on view in menu bar and select hide transparency grid. Next is to expand the image. Go to property panel and click on expand button. Next, I'm going to use the rectangle tool to create a black background, this will help to see if there are any white edges, and empty areas. Send rectangle to back, on mouse right click select a range. Click on send to back. Ungroup the image. Now we need to edit or correct vectorize watercolor stroke, zoom in image, and with the help of hand tool move around the image. As we see there are white edges. Lock the rectangle to prevent it from moving while we are editing this vectorized image. To lock the image select object in menu bar. Click on lock and then select selection. With the help of selection tool, select them, and, delete them. Now zoom in image and search for empty areas. Here V find one empty area. Now, select the adjacent area for fill color. Here you can see the fill is gray. This same color we will fill in this empty area. Now with the help of blob brush tool we fill this empty area. In toolbar click on paint brush tool and then select blob brush tool, with its help fill the empty area. Search for more empty areas. You can ignore very small empty area, now image looks good and there are no empty areas. Unlock the black rectangle, to unlock the rectangle go to object in menu bar and click on unlock all. After that delete rectangle. Zoom out the image. Select the image and group it. Resize the image to small. Now V will convert this vectorize image into brush, open brush window. On the right hand side click on brush icon. 
Drag the image in brush window. A dialog window pop up and brush option appears. Choose Art Brush and click OK. Art Brush Options window pop up. Give a name to your custom brush. Set the direction of the stroke, I will keep it as it is from left to right. Choose tints for the colorization method and keep other settings as it is. Click on OK. Delete the image. V successfully create a custom art brush, now let's draw something on artboard with the help of newly created custom art brush. Choose the color of stroke. In brush window select the custom brush we have created, go to toolbar and select paint brush tool. Now paint random paths onto the canvas using paint brush. Change stroke color and draw more. Here you can choose different width profile and draw more paths. That's all for this video if you have any query ask in comment section below. If you like this video please give thumbs up, and, for latest update subscribe to my channel. Thank you.